your car are talking about? The Vauxhall Corsa, Britain's second most popular small car. <laughs> and they say this is the car for those who put the fun back into driving. But it's no fun when your brand new car rolls away. And the courses you're telling us about are the latest Corsa D models, less than a year old. Do you know? I, I suspect we're not having the car. Come and show me around. Stuart Scott's part of Corsa rolled and crashed just six weeks after he bought the car. So that was just the first time. And this happened again and again and again. This has happened at um, least half a dozen times uh, for this car, even without the mechanism changing that. So you've actually had the handbrake. The mechanism has been changed. Changed completely, brand new. Fly box all over and has one of their top experts come down to, to inspect it. Said they found the thing, but changed the mechanism anyway. Like the owners of the other roll away model, Stuart is certain he parts correctly. I cannot be the only one with this happening, sir. And I like to think that I that my family are in danger, and also you can call us, you know, accident out on the road. Plus, a loose door or a, or a faulty Wi Fi. It's your brakes. Peter Hilton bought his new Corsa last March. In August, it rolled away from his home, crashing into two other cars, causing major consequences for his insurance. After the accident, I'd say six hundred pound access. The insurance is going up. Uh, had a few quotes, and it's got up to two thousand five hundred pounds. Michael Vauxhall dealer initially said they could find nothing wrong with his car, but after a second look, they agreed the handbrake needed tightening. But any further investigation would come out of his own pocket. It should be right for a brand new car to roll down hills. It should have Richard do his job. All the people this happened to aren't just worried about damage to the car or the cost of repairs. They're more concerned that someone could be seriously injured. I thought, oh my God, I started shaking. Because I know it was full time. And there are lots of children and families. Sue Andrews had parked her quarter on the drive after a shopping trip. As she was unpacking her bag, her husband ran in shouting that the car had rolled away. I heard like a dull thud. So I looked out the front to see what it was. And uh, I saw our car across the road. Their quarter had rolled across the street, onto a neighbour's drive, and hit another car. As we went across the road, we then realised that it had actually shunted the car into the front of their house and had forced the bricks in. The total damage cost around £10,000. The only consolation was it was bricks and car and not a child's life. Expert Mark Brown examined the handbrakes in Michael and Stuart's quarters. He found that though it was slightly less likely to happen than with the vectors and signals it seemed, the cause of handbrake could still disengage on its own. Even though the design of the seat on the handbrake mechanism was slightly different to the vector, um, it still presented the same symptoms and the same situation that we found with the vectors and the box of signals. I feel it is a real issue for owners of this mark of uh, Corsa. And if I was the owner of a car, I'd be pretty concerned that the handbrake potentially is insecure. And I'd expect the books all to look into it seriously. Spectrum, signals, and now courses. We know that most people are looking at this, but maybe they should look harder and faster. Because it seems it could be a much bigger problem than they <laughs>